The news at five. Stay tuned for breaking news. A parrot named Percy was fired from the Bakersville Zoo. He was one of a dozen talking parrots, which are the zoo's main attraction. The parrots were performing in front of a crowd when Percy suddenly shrieked out in proper language. The visitors and zookeepers were shocked. The zoo decided not to risk a repeat performance in front of children and kicked Percy out of the zoo. One zookeeper said, We'll find a safe new home for Percy. A 76 year old grandfather saved his eight year old grandson from a 13 foot long, four meter long anaconda. The boy was playing with friends near a small river in Cosmorama, Brazil, when the snake attacked him. The boy's grandfather was working nearby. When the grandfather heard the boy's screams, he ran to the riverside and was able to get the animal off the boy. The fight between the snake and the man continued. Finally, someone managed to give the grandfather a big knife, and the grandfather killed the snake. Our hero was very strong, because it normally takes five men to overpower and get control of a snake that size. The last thing 17-year-old Ricardo Gordon remembers was that a storm was coming, and he was rushing to get inside. Next thing he knew, he was lying in a hospital bed. Here is what happened. Ricardo was listening to the live broadcast of the football game when lightning hit him. As a result, his hair and ears were burned, and he had dark spots all over his body. The wounds on his body followed the wire of his smartphone from his ears down to his hip, where he was carrying the device. The electric current traveled from his smartphone to his headphones. Ricardo is lucky to be alive. A. What was Ricardo doing when the lightning hit him? He was listening to the football game on his smartphone. B. What were you doing when the big storm started? I was waiting for a bus. One, I was talking to a friend on the phone when the lights went out, so I just continued talking in the dark until they came on again. Two, we were having a business meeting over dinner. We were right in the middle of our meal. The waiters brought candles. Three, I was leaving the office. I work on the 30th floor, you know. So I walked down all those steps. When I got to the bottom, the lights went on again. 4. I was driving when the lights went out. I had to be very careful because none of the traffic lights were working, and I didn't want to have an accident. 5. I was busy shopping. They turned on emergency lights in the supermarket but I'm sure some people went out with stuff in their pockets and bags without paying for the things. Six. We were in class when there was a blackout. The problem was getting home. 
The subway wasn't running, so I had to walk for miles. First syllable, lightning, language. Second syllable, performance, electric, attraction. Third syllable, electricity. So, Robert, could you tell us what happened? Well, I was delivering a pizza and a bottle of soda to a high-rise apartment building last Friday night when the elevator broke down. So what did you do? I shouted and pushed the alarm button, but no one heard me. Why didn't you just use your cell phone to call someone? I wasn't carrying my cell phone. I just forgot it. How long were you in the elevator? I was stuck in there for 10 hours. Weren't you nervous and scared? Not really. I kept my cool. I ate the pizza and drank the soda. Then I went to sleep. How did you get out? Well, finally, some residents called the building manager because the elevator wasn't working. When they got the elevator started, I was sleeping on the floor of the elevator with the empty pizza box. Age means nothing. Six-year-old Marta Garcia was sitting with her little three-year-old brother in the back seat of the family car as her dad prepared to get in the car and take the wheel. Suddenly, a stranger appeared and pushed Marta's father out of the way. He wanted to steal the car. The father fought back, but the thief overpowered him and got in the car. Marta's father was holding on to the car door and screaming when the man started to drive down the road. He said later, my children were in there. I wasn't going to let go. Finally, he lost his grip on the car and fell onto the road. The car disappeared, and the father sat crying on the side of the road. But Marta wasn't going to let the thief get away with that. She started hitting the carjacker with her fists and pulling his hair. Finally, he got tired of it, stopped the car, and ordered the two children out. Marta took her brother from his car seat and helped him get out of the car. Some minutes later, when Marta's father looked up, he couldn't believe his eyes. His two kids were coming toward him. Marta was holding her brother's hand. Marta said, I wasn't scared. I wanted us to be safe. I was hitting the bad man. I just wanted daddy. The local police officer said, Marta is a brave little girl.